Okay, let's go to the audio sound bites of the debate. Let, let's get started. We're going to start here with, uh, oh, by the way, grab, we, we have a, uh, uh, Ron Paul has, uh, what, what is it, recorded a commercial for us here? Is there a special, uh, yeah, we, uh, let's do that first, because I think they're a little preemptive over there at the Paul Cater. And now, Congressman Ron Paul on Iran. The greatest danger is not from Iran. It's from us overreacting. We just need to talk with them instead of this endless fighting. Why are we flying drones over there? There's no evidence they have a nuclear weapon. There's no enrichment. The UN and the IAEA just made all this up. President Obama did the right thing in backing off because sanctions are an act of war. All we're doing is promoting their desire to have a nuclear weapon. We are the problem here. <laughs> Vote for Ron Paul because Newt Gingrich is too zany and weird. Paid for by Washington Republicans for moderation. We are the problem. <laughs> Actually, it's a commercial uh, for uh, Washington Republicans, not uh, not Ron Paul. Here is Ron Paul in the debate last night. Uh, this is Brett Bear, who I, I I thought the Fox moderators did a good job last night too. I thought I thought it was it was good. It, his uh, yeah, fair and balanced. They were good. Uh, Brett Bear, Congressman Paul. Many Middle East experts now say that Iran may be less than one year away from getting a nuclear weapon. Now, judging from your past statements, even if you had solid intelligence that Iran, in fact, was going to get a nuclear weapon, President Paul would remove the U.S. sanctions on Iran, including those added by the Obama administration. So to be clear, GOP nominee Ron Paul would be running left of President Obama on the issue of Iran. You know what I really fear about what's happening here? It's another Iraq coming. There's war propaganda going on. And we're arguing, to me, the greatest danger is that we will have a president that will overreact, that we will soon bomb Iran. And the sentiment is very mixed. We ought to really sit back and think and not jump the gun and believe that we are going to be attacked. That's how we got into that useless war in Iraq and lost so much in Iraq. Now, you may have astutely noticed that Ron Paul didn't answer the question. So, Brett Baer, uh, after the applause died down, said, Congressman Paul, a question was based on the premise that you actually had solid intelligence as President Paul that they got a nuke. We're not talking about being on the come. I'm asking you about solid evidence they've got one. And yet you still, at that point, would pull back U.S. sanctions. And again, as a GOP nominee, be running to the left of Barack Obama on this issue? Yes. All we're doing is promoting their desire to have it. They are surrounded. They have a desire. And how do we treat people when they have a nuclear weapon? With a lot more respect. What did we do with Libya? We talked to them. We talked them out of their nuclear weapon. And then we killed them. So it makes more sense to work with people. And uh, the whole thing is that nuclear weapons are loaded over there. Pakistan and India. Israel has 300 of them. We have our ships there. we got to get it in a proper context. Right. We don't need another war. We don't need another war. I mean, we have enough. We ought to do what we did in Libya. Take their nukes away and then kill them. Okay, uh, Bear said, Congressman Buckman, and this was her opening, she wanted to seize on this. Congresswoman Buckman, today's the official end of the U.S. military operations in Iraq. There's real concern, as you know, about growing Iranian influence inside Iraq. And also, the deputy prime minister there has expressed concerns about the country possibly slipping into a civil wall. Are there any circumstances, as president, where you would send U.S. troops back into Iraq? 
With all due respect to Ron Paul, I think I have never heard a more dangerous answer for American security than the one that we just heard from Ron Paul. We know without a shadow of a doubt that Iran will take a nuclear weapon. They will use it to wipe our ally Israel off the face of the map, and they've stated they will use it against the United States of America. Look no further than the Iranian Constitution, which states unequivocally that their mission is to extend jihad across the world and eventually to set up a worldwide caliphate. We would be fools and knaves to ignore their purpose and their plan. Okay, Congressman Paul, she just called you a lunatic and an insaniac. What is your reply? Well, I'm a little color there, but I mean, that's basically the implication. What's your reply, Congressman Paul? To declare war on 1.2 billion Muslims and say all Muslims are the same, this is dangerous talk. Yeah, there are some radicals, but they don't come here to kill us because we're free and prosperous. Do they go to Switzerland and Sweden? I mean, that's absurd. Yeah. What is the whole world about the drone being in Iran? And we're begging and pleading, and how are we going to start a war to get this drone back? Why were we flying a drone over Iran? Why do we have to bomb so many countries? And you're trying to dramatize this, that we we have to go and treat Iran like we've treated Iraq and kill a million Iraqis and 8,000 some Americans have died since we've gone to war. You cannot solve these problems with war. Okay, now, uh, I've got a question in the email. Somebody said, well, wait a minute, Doesn't, didn't, didn't Ron Paul just admit that Libya had a nuclear program? And so why is it so hard to believe Iran has? Ron Paul wants them to have a nuclear program. This is what people are missing. If you, He says, look, at when you have a nuclear bomb is when you're respected. Take a look at the way we dealt with the Soviets in the Cold War for 30 years, as opposed to what we're doing with Iraq. We're talking about bombing Iraq off the face of the air. We're talking about killing a billion people. We never talked that way about the Russians, because they had the same number of bombs pointed at us. If you were Iran, you'd want a nuclear bomb. Too. Besides, the only reason they want nuclear weapons is because we're making them do it. It's our fault. If you were in Iran and you had to face these evil Americans, you'd want a bomb too. This is anyway, this this was this was the say the uh highlight of the night for Congressman Paul. This is you know, memorable moments in each debate. That little exchange was his.